Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I am, I'm holding it. And we're playing Madden 20, the oiled up pappies. Ooh, the pap dads. Yep. We're gonna win. I hope so, man. You wanna do your balance playbook? No? All right. We're playing with the balance playbook. All oh, Madden difficulty. Uh, all pro issue. Your face to my fist. All, Ma all Madden arcade. <laughs> Simmon, offense only. Simmon the D. Punching you in the face. You've heard me say that that many times, and you know, you're like, I don't listen to you talk. <laughs> That's not what it is. <laughs> I just, I'm not, I don't ever have to say it, so I may know <laughs> when it happens, but I, I don't know. Like, yeah, I'd have to be ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Jonas, let me tell you something cultural. Okay. I noticed this. I was watching a YouTube video today, and uh, it was two uh, black males and one, uh, I think he's Chinese, maybe Japanese. I don't want to be offensive. I think that by no loan is offensive. <laughs> what the hell? Chinese, what? maybe Japanese. I don't, I don't know. know. He's how about Asian. how about a, what, two black males and an Asian male? There you go. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm the racist. Eh, we'll be the first. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, but yeah, and they were playing and playing what? they were playing uh, a game, Speed Runners. I don't know if you ever heard of it. No. It's a uh, it's a competitive game where you like racing and you like have a grappling hook and the person that basically optimizes the course they win. Oh, okay. Actually, looks actually looks like a pretty decent game. It's been out for a Is while. Is it a PC only? Uh, think so. Yeah, a lot of games that I want to play for the channel are only on Steam too. Like, there's some there's some interesting games out there, but I'm like, can't we, play we, that. We can. I don't know. Yeah. What was the reason? There was something we did with the Spire that it didn't work. You had to put music or something. No. What was the problem? Slay the Spire. Actually, we got a couple of videos of that done. I remember. Oh, it upgraded the software for Elgato, and we couldn't yeah. mix our mics together. It would only take one of our mics. That's Good what job, it was. Apple. <laughs> it, wouldn't, it, would, it wouldn't mono down mix our voices. So I do remember that. That was probably a shortcoming on my I'm sure we could figure that out. Well, they probably, and, they and probably we fixed might. it now. And we might. We might figure it out. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but either way, and like the two black dudes, it was just, they just started like talking crap back and forth to each other. And like like you and the African guy you worked with, like that yeah. kind of stuff, like really bad, like racist. Things. No, not even like that. <laughs> and he was African, but yeah, um, boom. They just started talking crap to each other. Like they were like, "Oh, <laughs> catch up. You know, you can't do it like this. I'm so much better than you." Oh, stuff oh, like, like so like playful banter. Yeah, and I realized I was like, "Huh, that's kind of the way that me and Killer King interact." And then the Asian dude. He was he was relatively quiet for the majority of, of the time, and then like it just got to the point where he started call he started talking crap back, but I could sense the air of seriousness in his voice. So I've come to the conclusion, or at least the hypothesis, okay, that when black people talk to each other, we take little jabs at each other because it's camaraderie in a certain way like i've never taken anything like offensive that even my own family or or my, or my other black friends have said and they say some pretty crazy stuff you've heard the stuff that killer king has said to me oh yeah well so is it just like in like the the, the but spirit I, of like competitiveness and fun or something kind of, yeah okay yeah but then I find that other people don't communicate in that same well, way. Well, you know, and I can say that because I've been I've been places or like when I uh, when I used to work for Rent to Own. Yeah. Like there was times I went into a house like to deliver something, and there would be like a whole group of like black dudes sitting around playing like Madden or something, and they are lit like are giving each other the hardest time I've ever yes. heard of any like like standing up and screaming in their face and stuff yes. and like and I'm just like. Dude, why is someone not getting punched? Like, it's like the most. Yo. Be, it's, it seems like the most like in your face, like aggressive stuff ever. And that's the thing; it does not stop until somebody loses their cool. When somebody loses their cool, and then they're like, "Hey, you want you gonna fight me over a game? <laughs> is that what you're gonna do right now?" Right, and it's like, like it's just, just like that egging and egging and egging and egging. Trying yeah. to get it's like who will break first, and this is this is like <laughs> this is the thing is that I grew up in an era of your mama jokes, right? Yeah, and it was like somebody would say something 
ill about your mom, and then you would say something about their mom, and you go back and forth. It's just trading insults just to sharpen your own utensils, right, 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 your yeah. own verbal uh, repertoire. So and 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 then like so many star boys. Holy and then God. I find that it's just not the same thing. It's not the same thing elsewhere, man. Other cultures just aren't aren't into yeah, it. Yeah, like you just, you aren't even that much into it as I am. Dude, I don't I don't s talk at all. Really, no. Like really in the slight. Like I like I'll give people a hard time, but like, um, I but I find that, like <laughs> I find that. <laughs> White dudes get really offended if you start if, if you if you start talking trash. This is where I was going with it, but I wanted you to say it, and not <laughs> oh, me. Oh no, I know it <laughs> because like I've been going. I've been in a room with a bunch of white guys, and that stuff will pop off fast. Like the second like one person's winning really bad, and they start being like, "Get good," blah 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 blah. What I, it becomes, people get real mad real quick, right? and I don't know why. I don't know. It, what kills me is that, like, if I say your game ain't ish, like, I don't understand w- what's the point of getting offended by that. Like, just say my game ain't ish. <laughs> That's all it takes. Oh, yeah, I know. That's all it takes. There it's, we go. Give me that TD. It's tit for tat. Yeah, dude. It's I, p- oh, no, quid I pro quo. Like, I can talk ish and not get offended, but, like... I don't know. I just don't really talk ish. I know, man. I know. I know. It's all right. Could you could you talk ish for me one time? <laughs> like when? We never play against each other. I don't know. Tell me tell me my, my controller skills is trash. <laughs> <laughs> tell me my controller skills are Can trash. Can you do that for me, Jonas? TNT, your controller skills are trash. Oh my god. I, I didn't really feel it. Get good, dog. <laughs> no, you gonna, see, you gonna no. let me run on it's, you like that? It's fake. It's manufactured. We're not playing a game. This is like this is like it's like a flashlight, dude. It's just not <laughs> quite the real thing, dude. It just doesn't feel. It doesn't feel organic. <laughs> you know, dude, you want to know honestly where I think kind of my lack of trash talking comes from? What's that? Because back in the day, like a long time ago, like I used to play Madden all all the time, mm-hmm. like. Like, just, just for fun. Like, I would just play it. Mm-hmm. And I got really, really good. And uh, other people I know didn't really play Madden, but anyone that I would convince to play oh, me, yeah. I, I yeah. would destroy. Like, it wouldn't even yeah. be close. Yeah. And so it was like, it was already hard enough for me to find anyone to play me. But if I played them, beat them bad, and talked crap, no one would ever want to play me. So I, I would have to just sit there and be beating them by 30 points just like, and maybe, see, maybe next time it'll be better. <laughs> and see, to me, and see to me, I understand that because I've been there too with Street Fighter, um, Marvel vs. Capcom. I swear to God, I think that one of my friends snapped my Marvel vs. Capcom disc in half <laughs> because I beat him in it and I was talking trash. Because... I had a perfectly fine copy of Marvel vs. Capcom. <laughs> it wasn't and quite then, so perfectly fine. And then it was not, not it was in two pieces. <laughs> two, the both pieces were perfectly fine. Yeah. But no, dude, they weren't the, uh, together. It, it fell out of the case that way. Yeah, um, so yeah, I do understand that. <laughs> I do. But then again, then I'm like, wow, you just need to have people who are better at Madden in your life so that you can catch a beat down every once in a while. Yeah, and I it don't mind catching a beat down. It doesn't have to stop you from like you used to play with Chach. Oh yeah. Could Chach beat you? Yes. Well, as we've got older, like me and him have some epic games. Yeah. But like, but er, but sometimes I just like blow him up. And like now I probably would blow him out of the water because I've played this so much. And he got to the point where he got mad. He, like he knows what maddening is, and he just like gets so mad. He he gets he gets mad. He, he gets mad. <laughs> Does he get mad where he starts like blaming the game and saying that yes. the game is cheating and that? Yes. Uh, um, or or my controller isn't. No, working. no, he'll never say that. No, but like we literally have some of the games we have <laughs> are super good, and they'll come down to like the wire, and that's that's usually what it is. It's either it's either the game comes down to like the last play, wow. or one of us just destroys the other one. Wow. But usually, if, if it's destroying, I think I tend to destroy him more than he just. But like over the like as we got older, it was a lot closer than. Ah! See, and I even remember, like, when I worked at Aladdin's Castle in the mall, <laughs> video game arcade, uh-huh. a video game arcade, kids, <laughs> it's where they have 
Big. They still have those. Dave and Buster's, dude. Dave and uh, Buster's. Yeah, yeah, yeah those, It's like a Dave and Buster's, but not Dave and Buster's. Yeah, it's not as Dave and Buster-y. <laughs> right. Yeah, Dave and Buster's really, like. It's trash. <laughs> Yeah, man, but they like bastardized what the video game arcade was. Like oh, it used absolutely. to be, it used to be a place where you could just like put a dollar in a machine, get four tokens, go play your one two games, and then you know while your food's getting ready, or you send the kids in there. And now it's just like it's a whole restaurant, and they want you to stay, and they got oh, yeah. like and VR it's all about ma- tickets, and yeah, yes. and they got VR machines in there. Just go. Oh, how much is it for the VR machine? Fifteen bucks. Oh, <laughs> right. Here, play. And well, they how they get you is all the games are worth points, and you can't do the math to like how much you're actually spending. Yeah, because it's like you put, you're like, give me twenty dollars. Here's a thousand points, and then every game's like two hundred and seventy mm-hmm. points, and you're like, wait a second, did I just pay five dollars to play? Yeah, this and game? it's some arbitrary number like ten, <laughs> ten bucks for fifteen hundred points. I, I'm not doing that math. Right, and then and then to go and it's like one one credit is one hundred and twenty seven points, and you're like. Yeah. You're like, excuse me. Wait a minute. No, I don't know. I don't know if we can play the uh, basketball game because yeah. it's 135 points. Yeah, right. Exactly. It's you got to do uh, that math. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a little crazy. But, yeah, I remember being in Aladdin's Castle, man, playing some Tech and Tag and just, like, whooping on dudes, talking crap to everybody I beat. And then getting my butt kicked by somebody and just being okay with that. And then well, put, putting my quarter up there and being ready and for the next person. I used to play like Mortal Kombat in the arcade. And you would talk ish. And you may beat three, four, five people in a row. Then that new dude steps up and he whoops the F out of you. And then you take your turn. You go back. You put your quarter up. You watch him talk ish. And then you get back up and you get a chance to beat him again. And then it's like sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. I miss those days, dude. You line the quarters up. Mm. I feel like you still can do that. Maybe we should play a fighting game for the channel. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, those are the perfect games to talk trash Oh, in. they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh, don't like yeah. fighters? You said Mortal Kombat. I used to love playing a man anymore. I just, I don't. I don't know why. Maybe no. it's because I don't even play with me, so maybe, yeah, we should. I mean, online play is perfectly fine. Oh my god, that's like super frustrating. It's like all like the the sweaty boys on there, like who play yeah, nonsense. Like I feel anyone trying. who's online playing a fighting game, they play it a lot. So like you get in there, and everyone is just so good. The thing that they do with fighting games nowadays, Jonas, uh, is that you have like experience, and they only pair you with people who are in your experience. Oh, level. so you get like level. It's like you have a level. Yeah. Just oh, okay. And that, that's fair. So we'd be playing a bunch of like twelve-year-old boys yeah, who right. just got the game for Christmas. Right, right. I feel you. That but yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. You guys at home, let us know what you think of us playing a fighting game. Let us know which game it is, and I'll tell you no. Injustice Two. Is there? A, I play like Mortal Kombat Eleven. See, well, the only problem is with the games like that. It's like you want to do the fatalities, but like if you suck or don't know what you're doing, you play the whole match and then you just go Ugh, and you punch them in the face and they fall over because you didn't do it right. Yeah, <laughs> and then no, it's like right. anticlimactic for everybody. Though you, I would love to show you some of the fatalities and some of the newer Mortal Kombat. Oh, I've watched them all. Uh, did you see when the all the when all the games come out? I always go on and watch like the video of someone. Oh, look at his mother cry as he runs away from him. <laughs> you watch all the fatalities. Yeah, they, somebody always puts out. A, I, did, I think I did that for like ten and a, I think I did eleven too. <laughs> Fatality dude, they're compilations. So good, dude. They are. Oh my God, they're some so, of them are lame. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, but they're so gross, <laughs> gross and gruesome, dude. Holy. Like don't don't make a heart hand and blow your gum in a hole in my body. I just don't understand that. And Mortal Kombat story is just off the rails anymore. Oh, is it? Like I didn't. Yeah, dude. Like, uh, what's his name? Johnny Cage and Sonya are like married, and then they have a daughter. Is she in the game now too? Yeah. What's absolutely. her name? Johnny Blade. Cassie. Sonya Blade. I Sonya think. Blade. No, I think it's Cassie. I think it is. Oh yeah. Yeah, she was. I was actually referring to her finishing move, where or her fatality, where she blows gum through a body through a hole in your body when you lose to her but uh yeah i don't know man i don't really i don't like a block button i just want to hold back the block that's like what always turned me off about uh mortal Kombat. oh yeah because you gotta hold a button games, yeah you just hold away from your opponent yeah and it blocks all oh, the x-boy cried in his sleep over me so i would play street fighter there's a bunch of new characters in there street fighter yeah, I would be a Manette main. Can we can we be Dolphin? 
You can be Dalsim. Yes. I haven't played Dalsim in many years. <laughs> he is way different than you remember, big boy. Oh, really? Yeah, man. What's he do now? Does he have like a harp? No, no. He's still the same character. I just mean his move list is different. Oh, I got. He doesn't just like punch long. Yeah. Sure. Everyone would just jump up and punch down with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, get me, get me. <laughs> or just do his roundhouse, or his, or his, what was his sweep? That would just go halfway across the map. Yeah. Oh, see, you're talking about like Street Fighter Turbo. Yeah, two, four Turbo. Wow, yeah. that's going way back. Oh yeah, dude. I, don't, I haven't played any in a long time. Like, I played I uh, play Sh Street Fighter Five. That's the one with indestructible. I don't even know what that means. I remember I, I actually. Uh, well, here's a fun story. All right. I remember, we don't have very long, so I remember I was I bought that game when it first came out. I bought the collector's edition. It came with like a Ryu uh, like minifigure or whatever. Okay. And I didn't end up playing it, but freaking Lou ended up playing a friend of ours named Lou. He ended up playing the hell out of it, and he got like really good with like Ken, and Ken? I couldn't beat him. <laughs> And it actually turned me off to the game. You're like, I don't even want to play. F you. Get out of here. <laughs> I did. Because I always liked Dan. And Dan just could not be Ken. Damn. Damn, Dan. You can't say Dan on the channel. You can't say anything. Apparently. <laughs> can't. All right. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, send your friends our way because we love them and we love you. But for Jonah, TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. We. Oh,